Welcome back to Money Makes. My name is Callie and today we are going to be making zucchini bread. So I am posting this video in August, meaning zucchini is in season. So it's in abundance at the grocery store. It's fresh. It's affordable. Making this the perfect dessert to make this time of year. However, zucchini bread is the kind of dessert that you can really enjoy all year long as well. So let's get right into it. But before we begin, as always, please remember to subscribe, like, share, chat in the comment section, and follow me on social media for more recipes and additional content. So let's get right into it. These are the ingredients that we are going to be using. I have some brown sugar, granulated sugar. I'm using lemon zest. You could also use orange zest. They probably prefer orange zest, but either will do. I have a couple of eggs, one egg yolk. I also have some extra virgin olive oil. So if you don't want to use extra virgin olive oil, you could substitute any kind of neutral oil. So canola oil, vegetable oil will do the trick as well. However, I cook with a lot of olive oil, so that's what I have and that's what I'm gonna be using. And you're not gonna be able to taste it in this recipe, I promise you. So I have some vanilla, buttermilk, salt, all-purpose flour, baking powder, baking soda. I also have a combination of spices. So I'm gonna be using cinnamon, cardamom, allspice, and a little bit of nutmeg, but any kind of warm, thick pumpkin pie, banana bread spices will do the trick as well. I have, of course, some zucchini that I've grated on the small setting of my cheese grater. So let's get right into it. First things first, get your oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Mine is nice and hot and ready to go. So let's do this. First things first, I'm gonna grab all of my dry ingredients, so my flour, baking powder, baking soda, my spices, and to this, I'm gonna add in a little bit of kosher salt. And I'm just gonna give this a quick mix to get it all nice and combined. Here we go, this will just take a second. And so if you love banana bread, if you love pumpkin bread, you are going to love this recipe as well as it uses a lot of the same kind of spices and flavors as those um, recipes do. So I love this bread so much. And again, it's great to make in the summer, but because it uses those spices that you kind of think of more in the fall and winter seasons, it's great to make that time of year as well. And next month is September and everyone is gonna be posting like pumpkin spice type recipes. And so this is a great one to kind of add to that fall baking repertoire as well. So next I'm going to grab my brown sugar along with the granulated sugar and my lemon zest and to this I'm gonna throw in my eggs and I'm gonna give this a whisk until actually a mix I'm just using a spatula for this whole recipe you don't need any fancy equipment until it's nice and combined so this looks great so next up I'm gonna grab my extra virgin olive oil and I'm gonna add that in along with my vanilla and I'm just gonna give this a whisk until it's nice and combined Okay, so next up, I'm gonna throw in my dry ingredients along with my buttermilk. And you know that this cake is gonna be so incredibly moist and fluffy by the ingredients that are in it. The buttermilk, the oil, even the zucchini is really gonna provide a lot of moisture. And I promise you, you're not gonna taste the zucchini either, by the way, if you've never had this cake before. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good mix until everything is nice and co combined. Do not over mix, of course. And once it's all nice and incorporated, whoopsies, I'm gonna add in the zucchini and then we'll finish this up. Okay, so this looks great. So next, we're gonna throw in the zucchini bread. And you saw that took no time to make whatsoever. This is so simple. It's so quick to throw together. It's absolutely delicious. So let's just really quickly toss in the zucchini and then I'm gonna grab my loaf pan and then we'll bake this up. Okay, so I have my loaf pan here that I just greased with some butter or nonstick spray and I lined with parchment paper to ensure nothing sticks. And we're just gonna add the batter into the loaf pan and like I said earlier, my oven is already preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. It's nice and hot and ready to go. I'm gonna fix this parchment paper a little bit. It's collapsing over here. And this is gonna go into the oven for about 50 minutes to an hour. You'll know when it's done baking when you insert a knife or a skewer into the center and it comes out clean or with a few crumbs. So I'm gonna bake this up. I'm gonna let it cool completely. And then I'm gonna give you a close up of just how absolutely amazing this zucchini bread really is. Okay, so we are back. 
my zucchini bread baked for exactly 50 minutes and it is ready to go. Make sure you let it cool completely before eating. And I just want to point out before we go that desserts like this, like zucchini bread, banana bread, pumpkin bread, these are the kinds of desserts that get better as the days kind of go on and the flavors get a chance to kind of mingle and get to know each other. So if you make this on, let's say, a Sunday or a Saturday and you eat it throughout the week, it's only going to get better. So. As always, for the full written recipe and instructions, head to my blog, MooneyMakesRecipes.com. The link for that is in the description box below. Click on the link, the recipe will come right up and make this zucchini bread. I promise you're gonna love it and let me know what you think because I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.